Thanksgiving Day in Detroit. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. This defense for the Titans, they put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now back to throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A nice throw there for the first down. And this is a big moment for this young man under center. You know, he's had a few months now to get acclimated to life in the NFL, but you got to think, a little extra pressure here, right, CD? I mean, you're getting the start on Thanksgiving in front of the national audience. Especially since you and I both know he's watched this game since he was, what, four, five, six years old and dreamed of playing in it. In fact, his family sent us some of those videos of he and his family in the backyard playing their turkey bowl games themselves. So now he's going from the backyard to the big step. Touchdown! It's complete. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions are going to take the first quarter lead. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Got him, man. It's Diaby Brown complete. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the 
Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll dump that one off to Mitchell. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. But Charles, this Thanksgiving tradition, so great. I mean, going back essentially through the full century of the NFL, I know you probably have a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving Day football yourself. I certainly do, and I don't have the turkey bowl tradition. You know, the families that go out and play and then come in and sit down to their feast and watch football. But I remember reading about, remember the Lions jumping on the Packers on Thanksgiving Day, the only loss the Packers had in 1962, and they sacked Bart Starr over 10 times in that game. And I remember Dave Williams from the Bears returning the overtime kickoff for a touchdown to win a game on Thanksgiving Day. I remember so many different things happening, but how much fun is it each and every year to know that you got football on Thanksgiving Day? First and 10 at the 41 yard line. Right back to him on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early. A definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already. And now after that completion, they're set up first and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's Rodgers. 
And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play in second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now a deep ball here. Hauled in just past the 50. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Rodgers throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 34-yard line. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On play action, it's Rodgers. He's going to launch this thing right downfield. That's caught. Touchdown, Titans. Tyler Higby, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they, almost to a man, told us how excited they are to be playing in this traditional Thanksgiving game. But we have to remember, this is a team that lost on Sunday. Now they get a very quick turnaround to play again. How difficult is that to do? It's difficult under any normal circumstance when you're coming off of a loss and you have a quick turnaround. The first thing is to put the loss behind you and move forward. But when you plan on Thanksgiving Day, everyone's watching you. It's an added bonus, though, because now you put the loss behind you. Get that taste out of your mouth because the taste you want is victory, turkey, and pumpkin pie. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Barton. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the Titans' 48-yard line. Second and two. He finds his man complete. That's four. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A big play there. With a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Lions have taken the lead. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. 
They're riding a two-game winning streak into this Thursday nighter. How easy is it when you're on a roll to stay on a roll given the quick turnaround? And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. A big play that time through the air. 51 yards. I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. A first down carry for Henry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw pulled in by Gronkowski. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 15-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second and two. Running from the gun with Henry. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, of course. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Rob Gronkowski, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. the extra point and we are tied here in the second quarter This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. But it certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out-execute them, we can walk away with a win. So following the incompletion, here second and 10 from the 25. They'll look to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. They'll drop to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one well, of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach. And let, let's face it, this season certainly has not gone the way many had expected or at least hoped. And I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier this week. Yeah, we certainly did, didn't we? Because, let's face it, he's heard the whispers. And they're going louder that he shouldn't be around next year. He essentially stormed out of that meeting you just referenced with the reporters. How did he end it? We're done here. Well, that's a function of losing and all the pressure that's on it. You hear about pressure creating diamonds? In this case, it's bursting the pipes of the coach. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll look to throw here. It's caught. Mitchell. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 20-yard line. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively, and it's second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Much like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. On third down. Mitchell, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. Carlson able to put this one through. And they take a 17-14 lead. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Either not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminated touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now it's Rodgers. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him now over 3,000 yards passing on the campaign. And Brandon, I think we have to start to think about where we are in the season. Because right now, 4,000 is not out of the question. I think a big game or two, he's certainly capable of getting that done. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down and three. Throwing is Rodgers. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. 
and it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Back to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. He's at the 30. 10. You know, I did. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive as they take over here with 11 seconds remaining. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Detroit. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Carlson on for the PAT. And that one gives him a three-point lead. Still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. So we're at halftime here in the annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. coach thanks yeah both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point both these offenses have been in fine form what will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three and here comes a return from the middle of the end zone and tackled at the 21 yard line so a net negative there of four yards the titans offense set to begin the drive and Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Now Anderson on the jet sweep. Jeff Okuda up from his cornerback spot to make the play. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Derrick Henry, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Rodgers. It's complete to 